Good evening. It is Monday, December 27th, 2016. It is 7 p.m. I call the final meeting for 2016 of the Speedway Town Council to order. I'm Council President David Lindsay. I'd like to welcome other members of the Council present with us this evening. To my far right, Councilor Eileen Fisher. Good evening. To my immediate right, Vice President of the Council, Jeff Matthews. Good evening. To my immediate left, Councilor Gary Rakes. Present, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> to his left, Councilor Jason Delisle. Good evening. And our clerk treasurer, Monty Combs. Barely here. Thank you. Yes. Thank Good you. Evening. Our agenda has been posted, which we will follow this evening. The first item on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. If everyone in the audience would please stand. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There's no comma there. Item 2 in our agenda is approval of the Town Council meeting minutes from December the 12th, 2016. Those have been distributed. Any corrections or changes to those? Hearing none, those will be accepted as presented. Item 3 is approval of the minutes for the December 12th executive session. Again, those have been distributed. Any corrections? Hearing none, they are accepted as presented. Item 4 is approval of the minutes of the December 15th. 2016 executive session any corrections hearing none those are accepted as presented item 5 is approval of the minutes of the December 22nd 2016 executive session any corrections or changes to those hearing none those are accepted as presented item 6 is approval of an agreement with Keyser Consulting Group LLC and we've asked our wastewater superintendent Norm Berry since he loves to come up and speak in front of us if he'd join us at this time Yes, Mr. President, members of the council. You should have before you a request from Keyser Consulting for a supplemental grant administration's uh, services agreement. Number one, what this pertains to is the dry run diversion um, project, um, his grant administration services. He's incurred some additional expenses, uh, which are outlined on page three. He had to do some uh, additional grant modifications along with uh, processing some extensive change orders. Um, had some issues on the project which in, uh, caused him to incur some additional uh, time and expenses. He is requesting an additional $7,000 $600, which would take him from $24,800 to $32,400. He originally was <coughs> requesting uh, double that, and um, in discussions with him, we were able to get it down to $7,600. So I would recommend your approval of his uh, request. Mr. President, I move that we approve the Supplemental Grant, grant Administration Services uh, as presented. Second. it has been a motion and a second to approve the agreement with Keyser Consulting. Any questions from the Council? No, just a comment. Norm, thanks for going through that. I think all of us kind of had that same question, why the uh, increase, and if you knocked it down by half of what, he, what we're actually seeing, thank you for that. You're welcome. Any other questions? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the agreement with Keyser Consulting, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries 5 to 0. Norm, thank you. Thank you. Item 7 on our agenda is approval of the contract with the Speedway Fire Department, Local 416. Um, myself and Vice President Jeff Matthews worked, met with the um, Fire Department Union representatives over the last several months, as did Councilor Rakes and Councilor Delisle with the Police Department. And uh, we've reached an agreement, which the Council has been given a copy of. Um, gives the, It's a two-year agreement. Uh, gives them a 2.5% raise both years, increases their clothing allowance. Uh, we've also agreed to pay for their fire helmets, uh, which was not included before. I think that's Jeff said. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Mr. President, I move that we approve the contract with the Speedway Fire Department, Local 416. Second. It's been a motion and a second to approve the contract 
with the Speedway Fire Department Local 416. Any questions from the council? I failed to do this last time. Any questions from the audience? Hearing none, will we'll we then call for the vote. All those in favor <clears throat> of approving the contract with the Speedway Fire Department, say aye. 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 Opposed? It carries five to zero. And for the public's information, that contract, if I didn't state, was a two-year contract, will expire in 2018. Ordinance 1288. <coughs> ordinance 1288 on first reading is an ordinance amending Title 10 of the Speedway Municipal Code. Uh, this has been distributed to the council for the review. This is uh, involves no parking areas within the town. Uh, Chief Campbell brought this to our attention. Uh, subsection 23 and subsection 30 um, are the only two changes to this. And this uh, allows parking in uh, improved areas de designated for off-street parallel parking on the east side of Allison um, from Gilman to 10th. And the same for uh, on Gilman uh, from Main Street to Al Allison Way. Mm -hmm. This is just because uh, as it stands at this moment, you could be written if you park there. This is to correct that. Ms. President, I move that we approve Ordinance 1288. Second. Been a motion and a second to approve Ordinance 1288 on first reading this evening. <clears throat> Any questions from the council? <coughs> Questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1288 on first reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carries five to zero. Mr. President, uh, I <coughs> would make a motion that we approve this ordinance on second reading, meaning that we would um, move away from uh, Robert's rules to allow for a second reading on this Ordinance 1288. I have a second. Second. Been a motion, a second to suspend the rules and move Ordinance 1288 to second reading. Uh, any questions from the council? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries five to zero. And do I have a motion on second reading for Ordinance 1288? Mr. President, I move that we approve Ordinance 1288 second reading. Second. It's been a motion and a second to approve Ordinance 1288 on second reading. Any questions from the council? <clears throat> questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1288 on second reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries five to zero. Ordinance 1289 is an ordinance establishing job and salaries to be paid to certain offices, positions, and jobs within the town of Speedway for the year 2017. This is our annual um, ordinance which establishes pay for all of our town employees. And I'd like to publicly thank our clerk treasurer, Monty, who's had his hands full the last few weeks reviewing this. Uh, <laughs> anything to add, Monty? Uh, no, sir. I think it's all right here for you. Okay, great. Mr. President, I move that we approve Ordinance 1289 on first reading. Second. It's been a motion and a second to approve Ordinance 1289 on first reading. Any questions from the council? <clears throat> questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1289 on first reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries five to zero. Mr. President, since we're at the end of the year, I'd like to move that we suspend the rules and move Ordinance 1289 to second reading. Second. And a motion to second to um, suspend the rules and move Ordinance 1289 to second reading. Um, call for the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carries five to zero. We then have a motion for Ordinance 1289 on second reading. Mr. President, I move that we approve Ordinance 1289 second reading. Second. Been a motion and a second to approve Ordinance 1289 on second reading. Any questions from the council? Questions from the audience? <coughs> Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1289 on second reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries five to zero. Ordinance 1290 on first reading is an ordinance allowing a transfer of appropriations to the rainy day fund. Monty, could you explain this to us, please? Yes, sir. In Indiana State Statute 36-1-8-5 uh, is for the council to approve under an ordinance to transfer this money from uh, of unused, if you would call it, appropriations 
meaning in my in my simple words, I say we budgeted well and we had money left over that we could put in a, in the uh, rainy day fund to have that for future. Hopefully, no needs, but if we do, we'll be there, and it's up to the council to direct me to do so. Mr. President, I move that we approve Ordinance 1290 on first reading. Second. Motion and a second to approve Ordinance 1290 on first reading this evening. Any questions from the council? Questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1290 on first reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries 5-0. to zero. Uh, Mr. President, in respect to the... Uh, calendar and of the lateness of, of the year, uh, I make a motion that we suspend the rules and move to second reading. Second. There's been a motion to second to suspend the rules and move Ordinance 1290 on to second reading. Uh, then call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carries five to zero. A motion for second reading. Mr. President, I move we approve Ordinance 1290 on second reading. Second. Second. The second and the third. To move Ordinance 1290 to second reading. Any questions from the council? Questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ordinance 1290 to on second reading, say aye. 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 Opposed? That is carried five to zero. Bonnie, thank you for your work on that as well. Thank you. Yeah. Are you welcome? Or something like that. Sorry, I'm going. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, next is item 11. Uh, which is nominations to the 2017 boards and commissions within the town. And we've been given a list, and we will just go down that list uh, from the top, if that's the council's pleasure. Uh, first is our Arts Advisory Council, and it's my recommendation to the council that um, I, I, I feel like I need to do some more re re research. I've talked to other councilors about this. Um, that if we could uh, vote on this beginning the first of the year, the council concurs with that. Agree. Yep. If you have any others, Mr. President, I'd maybe actually encourage yeah. you to read all of those. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, it's my recommendation that we uh, do not fill vacancies tonight on the Cable Commission, on the Community Development Corporation, um, Housing Advisory Council. Um, Transportation. And the Parks. public transportation. So if the council will concur with that, we will I close and move those uh, off. I agree. I agree. Concur. <coughs> okay. Um, next up would be the Board of Zoning Appeals. And I believe, if we are correct, we have two positions open for that board at this time. I nominate Ernie Williams. Like we to need to do each one individual. Can we yeah, do them? We'll okay. Do them no, I'll nominate Steve Jones. Mr. President, I'd like to uh, move that we close nominations. Second. Yeah. Been a motion and a second to close nominations to the Board of Zon Zoning Appeals. Any other questions from the council? Then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving Ernie Williams and Steve Jones to the Board of Zoning Appeals, say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries five to zero. Both are reappointed to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, the Economic Development Commission, that is a position that will be filled by the City County Council. Uh, the Fire Merit Commission is one that is a council appointment or council president appointment. I would like to nominate Jay Adams, who's currently serving on the Fire Merit Board for another term for Jay Adams, so he's reappointed to that. Um, the library board, that is an appointment by the school board, and I will follow through with uh, Superintendent Hall on that. Next is the parks board. I'd like to nominate Melanie Haviland. I would move that we close the nominations. And uh, that not sure that we have an, another open seat, but I would move that we close the nominations for, for tonight's meeting and and. Uh, fill any other board positions that we might have on that school board in January. The Parks Board? I'm sorry, I meant Parks Board. Thank you. Second. It's been a motion <clears throat> and a second. Uh, so this is to appoint Melanie Haviland to the Parks Board. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions or comments <coughs> from the council? 
Hearing none, we'll do a call for the vote. All those in favor of appointing Mel Melanie Haviland to the Parks Board, say aye. 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 Opposed? And that carries <laughs> five to zero, and we would need to do re research and see if we have another seat that's av available there. Next is our police commission. We have one seat available for that, and I believe there's a Republican uh, seat that is open. Mr. President, I'd like to nominate uh, Phil Smith. I move that we close the nominations for the police commission. Second. It's been a motion and a second to um, close the no nominations for the appointment to the police commission. Um, and that would appoint Phil Smith to the police commission. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> that carries five to zero. Uh, next is the Redevelopment Commission, and we have five seats available for that, and I'm, if I'm correct, two of those are the presidents. Um, I would like to not nominate Vince Noblet and William Jones to the SRC, so that then leaves us with um, three seats available for that. Mr. President, I move that, or I, I nominate Tom Popchev. Mr. President, I move that we close nominations for for the time period. Okay. Second. It's been a motion and a second to close nominations for the Redevelopment Commission at this time. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries five to zero, and that leaves us with two seats open, which we will revisit uh, in January. And we believe those are both council uh, appoint yes. appointments, not presidential, correct? Correct, yes. Next is the school board, and there is one seat open for that. Mr. President, I'd like to um, nominate Tom Smith. I move that we close the nominations. Second. It's been a motion to second to uh, close nominations for the school board. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries five to zero, and Mr. Tom Smith is reappointed to the school board. Next is Solid, solid Waste Commission. We have, we believe, two seats that need to be filled on that. Uh, I nominate Angie Smith. Nominate uh, plant Pam Flaherty. And I said two, but I believe we have three for that. Because I move that we close the nominations. Second. It's been a motion and a second to <coughs> close nominations for the Solid Waste Commission or committee. With one, one position to fill, correct, in sometime in the first year? Yes. Um, we'll then call for the vote for that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> carries five to zero and I believe unless the council has any further comments that will conclude our boards and commissions for tonight and it sounds like we have some more work to do at the beginning of the year next is approval of claims and utility adjustments from our clerk treasurer's office Monty uh, it's a short list this time shorter list if you will because of the holidays etc from December 10th through December the 23rd of the claims for this um, period and um, Say it again. Pretty routine. Mr. President, go ahead. I move that we uh, approve the claims for December 10th through December 23rd. Second. Motion to second to approve the claims as presented to us by our clerk treasurer. Any questions from the council? Just one question. Um, the level 365 communications at their phone system. <laughs> that's correct. Is we have a contract in place that's long term, or what? What's the um, we we had we had a uh, contra uh, contract in place. I'm going to have I'd have to do some research on when that. I would guess it's expired at this point in time, but uh, I'll do some research if you wish. I mean, at the risk of, of uh, opening <laughs> an opportunity for them to increase the price, I just wonder whether we you know, if we're paying that much on a is that monthly basis or annual basis. It's a monthly basis. Yeah, if if there might be an opportunity to reduce our cost with. I, I don't disagree point. with you. Old and equipment and so forth. I would put it on the list, if you will. I've just not gotten to it, to be honest with you. Thank you, sir. Any other questions? Approval. Questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the claims as presented, say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Carries five to zero. Money? Utility just? Uh, utilities, yes. A little less than two pages. <clears throat> um, namely, leaks, which is not uncommon this time of year, it's, I'm sure, that where the uh, majority of the adjustments are there for this time, and would we'll appreciate your approval. Mr. President, I move that we approve the utility adjustments <clears throat> as presented by Clerk Treasurer. Second. There's been a motion and a second to approve the utility adjustments as presented. Any questions from the council? Questions from the audience? Hearing none, we'll then call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the utility adjustments, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries five to zero. Monty, anything else? Just real quickly, um, uh, as I mentioned in the past, we do <coughs> file a number of liens if we need to for collection. Again, 98, 99% of those are outside the actual town and don't pay their sewer bills, which is all we can lean anyway. We just got our numbers today. We got another $47,000 to come in. That's great. Norm would be happy with. Uh, also, we keep every month we, we have the money that we transfer from what's been paid into the sewer and water in their accounts. And this year we're running about $450,000 more than we did last year. Wow. Which is very good for Norm as well. <laughs> so. Other than that, that's all I have, sir. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next is report from our council members, <coughs> Councilor Eileen Fisher. I can start with the mail. I have nothing this evening. Just wish everyone a happy new year. Looking forward to serving again in 2017. Councilor Jason Delisle. I, I echo Councilor Eileen. Exactly. <laughs> Gary Rakes. I think you know better. Uh, <laughs> I want to first thank Monty for um, just excellent work. I mean, <coughs> here at year end, we, we get another forty some thousand dollars in, in uh, dollars collected through liens, and I could have said it a moment ago, but um, those monies matter. Uh, we've gone several years without a rate increase. Um, can't promise that forever because our costs continue to increase, like anyone else's. We just put forth uh, a pay increase for, for our people; it was well deserved. But um, I uh, appreciate. Uh, the work you, you do. I mean, in being able to, to roll some monies over into our rainy day fund, you, you watch the, the books very closely, you work with our department heads, and those dollars back into our rainy fund, being able to build those back up to when we eventually have a down economy and need those dollars, those are real important, so thanks for the work you do. Thank you're um, welcome. Actually, to be honest with you, Councillor, this is the calmest I've been since I've been here. It's been just three years, and but I feel good about where we are, and the staff is excellent, and we do everything we're supposed to do the right way, and Usually it comes out in the positive. We're very happy with it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Second thing I want to do is thank David. Um, you've been president for two years in a row. This year in particular has been a, a different and <clears throat> still challenging year. Um, I know the rest of the council is nodding their heads as, as I'm saying this, and, and, and you know we all talk about it. Uh, we we not had a, a town manager for the last uh, couple three months, and you've done you know going back. Uh, this year, as we've dealt with different forms of transition, you've done a great job, and I want to thank you for your efforts. Thank you. Um, you just you do it, and you don't you don't complain about it. You just stick to it, and you get it done. So thank you. And finally, uh, just realizing that we just had uh, a Christmas holiday for others, maybe a different holiday. Uh, we've got another New Year's coming up. Um, this is a perfect time for all of us to to think about maybe being a little more courteous. Um, you know, we're at a time of year where we're, we're making decisions and we're trying to c communicate with other folks. And this is the, uh, in the last several years with the advent of, of uh, or, or the addition of social media, it's real easy for us to get on our cell phones and get on different forms of communication and immediately make a comment without engaging our brain for a little while. And I can remember a long time ago when I, I had hair and uh, I could write a note to someone when I was frustrated about it. And I could stick it in my drawer for the night, and the next day I might send that out. And I'd, I probably had, uh, would edit that before I'd send it out. To now, with the immediacy of Facebook and other forms of social media, um, it's amazing to me when I read some of the things that people criticize in the time that they criticize them, and they don't stop and think about things that are going on. That isn't, that isn't to say that some, some criticisms aren't deserving, but I just remind everyone at this time of year to kind of reset and start, uh, start the year uh, with thinking of others and be courteous. And I think it starts, it'll start with me and it'll start with anybody else. But this, this is a, a general reminder. Um, I noticed on Christmas that policemen weren't handing out tickets and folks weren't honking their horns as much at stoplights when, when I was traveling somewhere on Christmas Day. But uh, I just, I say that, just reminding everyone this time of the year. And so I, I thank everyone for, for their service this year and look forward to next year. 
Okay, thank you. Vice President of our Council, Jeff Matthews. Well, I will, uh, I will take Councillor Rakes's challenge and I will be kinder tonight. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank uh, I want to thank President Lindsay for uh, for stewardship and uh, your leadership. It's been a good two years, challenging for sure, but uh, it's been fun and, and really appreciate working alongside of you. So um, that's really all I have. Great. Next is a report from myself. Um, for the public's knowledge, we have posted and it's been closed for an economic director that just closed. The end of December, a week or so ago, we have posted a position for our town ma manager. The information for that is on the town website. That goes through uh, January 20th of 2017, not of the year 2107 as I first had him post. I <laughs> thought that may take a little too long. But that, that has been posted. There's information on the town's web website for that. Um, I want to thank the council for putting up with me for two years. Um, these last few months have been... Uh, uh, some long hours, um, a lot of hard, hard work, but uh, I, I like to think this is not just one person, it's a group effort, and I like to thank um, you all for your support the last two years. Really greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So with that, that concludes my report. Our final item on the agenda is nominations for our council president for the year 2017. Any no nominations? Uh, Mr. President, I would like to nominate Gary Rakes. <clears throat> Mr. President, I move that we close nominations. Second. There's been a motion to appoint uh, Councilor Rakes as our Council President next year. Uh, we'll call for the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary, congratulations. Next is our Vice President of our Council. I'd like to nominate Jeff Matthews. I move that we close nominations. Uh, it's Second. Second. Been a motion and a second to <coughs> appoint Councillor Jeff Matthews as Vice President of our Council for the year 2017. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. I'll let oh, you, no. No? You, you close for close a few more year. days, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just pray it's quiet. Keep for sending four. the emails today for the rest of the year. For four, for four more days. We're trying to be gentle and courteous and kind. So mm -hmm. please. <laughs> I'll be gentle, courteous, and kind Just and switch emails. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, with that, we will adjourn our meeting at 7.26 p.m. <laughs>